I have Megan here. Megan, who are you and where are you from? So I'm from Toronto and I am one of the owners of Toronto Family Doulas and I'm also an owner of Hamilton Family Doulas and Family Doulas of Ottawa. Awesome, three cities. Well, I've got one baby, not three baby here. And today we're really just making this video specifically for intended parents who could use postpartum support from a doula like yourself. So myself and Megan, we are postpartum doulas trained. So let's get going. Um, I'm holding a baby. A lot of intended parents spend so much money and so much time, like, you know, to get this baby. Now they have the baby and they have no idea what to do with it. Yeah, for sure. One of the things that intended parents look for from us the most is someone who can really teach them how to get hands on with their baby. A lot of them come to us and they're like, I've never really held a baby or changed a diaper or figured out, you know, how to take care of a baby. So they've now got their baby that they've waited so long for and they have no idea what to so do. So what to look for in a postpartum doula like Megan herself. So one of the things you're going to look for, I'm going to take your baby from you. You want someone who can teach you all of the tips and tricks. There's lots of little things about babies that aren't obvious and maybe might be like sort of hacks. So one of them that a lot of parents, whether they're intended parents or not, uh, don't realize is these funny little flaps on the shoulders are actually so that when the poop blows out, I love that. The onesie comes off down their body. So instead Shoulder. of having to, here's the arm, it comes out. Instead of having to wash poop out of all of this baby's beautiful, lovely hair, it comes just straight down the back. It means wipes instead of a full bath in the middle of the day. Maybe you can just go straight closer to the... Sure. So it's no. really hard Number to Number one see. hack. And I saw you on this with a breakfast show with this, actually. Yes, we were on Global TV with this one. So most onesies have either snaps or what are called envelope shoulders. And if you can see here, there it's a little flap, a fold. Mm -hmm. And it opens up so that the neckline is wider. Most people think it's because babies have big heads. And that's part of it. But the biggest piece is so those poop blowouts, you can undress your baby. Poop blowouts. Yeah, poop blowouts are a thing. Yeah, because and we love baby, we don't like poop. It, it's it the goes, last thing it, I want. It's everywhere. Disgusting. Um, so instead of poop in hair and ears and up their nose, because it's everywhere. You can now take the onesie off and you slide it all the way down their body instead of having to wash poop out of baby's lovely hair. So number one benefit from Toronto family doulas, Hamilton family doulas, and Ottawa family doulas, we have benefits where we can prevent poop <laughs> in your life. But we can also talk about all of the education around your baby. We can talk to you about how to set up your home, how to make feeding time more efficient, things like how to get more sleep and to maximize because even intended parents have to get up and feed their lovely baby every two to three hours overnight, especially in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So we can talk about how to maximize your sleep. Also, this is a really big one for all parents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can talk about setting boundaries with family. Absolutely. Boundaries. Because everybody, I don't know about the clients that you serve, um, whether you're an intended parent or a regular parent, um, like, you know, everyone has something that they can say and there's so much conflicting information, you're just overwhelmed. So that's one of the benefits I find when I do my work is postpartum doula as well because, um, you know, take it from me, like, I'm a fun guy, you don't care about your mother-in-law. Well, we often find that everyone will tell you... Too. Everyone tells you your baby's feet are cold, even in 40 degree weather, it's okay. You don't need to. Okay. <laughs> but I don't think mother-in-laws know nothing about this onesie poop thing. So, um, <laughs> when to hire? So, you can always hire a postpartum doula. There's really not an end date and there's not a start date either. But the earlier you hire your doula in the process, the more opportunity you have to rely on them as a resource. So. Postpartum doulas are experts not just in your baby, mm -hmm. but in about all of the stuff that baby mm -hmm. comes with. So if you hire your doula before your baby arrives, you can get input on strollers and car seats and cribs and baby gear. And it's not too late even when the baby comes, you need one. Most of yeah. our clients actually do hire us after baby arrives. And we can still give advice, but usually you've bought some of the basics at that mm -hmm. point. And that's when people are like, I hate my car seat, I hate my stroller, and we go, well, we could have told you a different one. So if you hire us mm -hmm. beforehand, we give more advice. If we hire you after, we're there to help with all of the hands-on stuff. Okay, so one thing from my perspective as an intended parent, if I were to take posts, uh, so take some support from a person like yourself, or like myself too, um, from, <laughs> don't take advice from me ever. Uh, anyways, um, if someone wanted to have postpartum support help before the baby arrives, 
or even at a certain point, maybe like even five months or three months after the baby's there. Does that necessarily mean you're admitting that you need help and that you're like a bad parent? Are you admitting that you need help? Sure, but who mm -hmm. couldn't use more help when they bring home a baby? Exactly, that's what we're trying to drive home. Are you a bad parent? Not at all. Everyone can use support, whether it's their first baby or their fourth, whether they gave birth to the baby or their intended mm -hmm. parents. Babies are hard work. And I have one point to drive home, especially with many of our clientele, um, with intended parents who are same-sex couples or even single men, heterosexual men, single um, homosexual men. They really have spent their whole journey getting this baby and they don't know what to do afterwards. Yeah. So when we are hiring someone like ourselves, or especially Toronto family doulas, Hamilton family doulas, and Ottawa family doulas, and the, what is the most in important interview question you can ask any postpartum doula to, to give you some support? This sort of goes back to the mother-in-law. So everybody- Always goes back to the mother-in-law. Always goes back to the mother-in-law. Everybody has opinions on what you do with your baby, how you raise your baby, mm -hmm. how you take care of your baby. And your doula should be the person who doesn't have an opinion. Adv advice if you want it, absolutely. But she shouldn't care about what your choices are. So how you sort of get that information out of your doula is completely up to you. But the question I like to ask when we're hiring doulas, and the question I like to get most from intended mm -hmm. parents and potential clients is, what is my parenting philosophy, especially around postpartum? Mm -hmm. Because as a parent, I know what my philosophy is, or before I had kids, mm -hmm. what I thought my parenting philosophy would be. And I wanted to make sure that my doula would really be able to work with me and not come in and think that there's a right way to do things exactly. or a right way to parent. And so if you ask a doula, you know, what's your parenting philosophy? And that doula has a really strong opinion, mm -hmm. she's probably not going to be the doula for you because she's not going to do things the way mm -hmm. you want them done. And the reality is we can come in and we can come in for days or weeks or months, but eventually, you're on your own with that mm -hmm. baby. Exactly. And it's, it's a very different perspective for intended parents too because you, you want to like that person, but at the end of the day, it's also kind of like your professional best friend helping you with that, you know, rather challenging journey that you're admitting now that you could, uh, you know, use a little bit of extra help and a different advice. And not all doulas have experience with intended parents. There are different things that come mm -hmm. up for intended parents in the postpartum period mm -hmm. that don't come up for parents who gave birth to their baby. So it's something that your doula mm -hmm. should really be able to support you in and be knowledgeable on the resources in your community Absolutely. and where you guys can go for additional support. Very quickly, postpartum support, it's usually typically by hours or number of days, for example. Is it something that you can get um, like for a day or do you sign up for like 20 hours or 2,000 hours? What's the range of number of hours for your clients who are intended parents who use postpartum doula support? We do everything from one single four hour shift on an afternoon to 24 hour day live and care for as long as you want us. It's like when you're like, see ya, bye bye, and leave you with that poop. <laughs> Onesie it is. <laughs> <laughs> With that, I don't know if you have anything else to add, but um, I give some last bit of advice to all those intended parents who are expecting a Soro baby or a Gaby, whatever kind of baby there are. Enjoy it. It's, you know, parenting is hard enough with everybody's opinion and advice, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, you are doing your best as parents. You are amazing parents, and you are going to do exactly what your baby needs you to do. Well, that's all from that Toronto Family Doulas. Uh, thank you, Megan, so much. <laughs> and um, be sure to check out her Facebook page and also check out the network of doulas, the proud doulas, at uh, proudfertility.com. This is Proud Fertility Egg Donation Surrogacy in Canada. Signing off. Have a great morning.